So is my hive ready to split? Hey, this is Blake, Blake Shook with the Bee Supply. And that's a good question. You know, how do you know if a hive is ready to split or not? It's often dictated by, can you get queens or not? <laughs> if you can't get queens, you probably don't need to make a split. You should probably just keep adding boxes to prevent swarming until you, get, you can get queens. But let's say your queens are a week or two away and you're checking your hive, making sure that it's ready to split. What are you looking for? It's pretty simple. I'm looking for an adequate number of brood, bees and a sufficient amount of brood. If they don't have at least six frames of brood and at least, you know, one to one and a half boxes full of bees, I'm not gonna split it. So when I look at this hive, before I smoke them, you know, this top box has about seven frames full of bees. So there's seven frames of bees. I'm looking on the bottom box. There's about four frames of bees on the bottom seven, eight, nine, so that's 11 frames. I'm just gonna quickly make sure they've got at least six frames of brood, because in general, I wanna put at least three frames of brood per split. So we've got, hey, hey, we've got brood, and I even see the queen on this frame. So the queen's on this frame. We've got a good frame of brood. One, two, three, make sure this one's brood. So I've got four frames of brood upstairs. I'm gonna quickly check downstairs. Make sure I've got a couple frames down here. Okay, so that's a frame, five, six, seven. I can often just look between the frames and tell. So this one has about seven frames of brood and about a box and a half full of bees. So this one's good to split. Now at this point, the split is as simple as equalizing the brood. I'm gonna make sure I've got about three and a half frames of brood in the bottom, about three and a half frames of brood in the top. Make sure I've got the same amount of honey in the top and bottom box. And then I don't like having to look for the queen. So I'm just gonna shake all the bees into the bottom box, put a queen excluder on it, put my top box back up, up, up on top. Now I know my queen's downstairs because I just shook all the bees down there. I'm gonna let it sit for four or five hours until it gets dark. The worker bees will migrate back up and cover that brood. And then once it gets dark, I'll just pull this top box off, put it on a bottom board with a cover, and I've got my split made. It can be as simple as that.